everybody! Make my chest hurt with regret. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace, sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. Y'all can hear it good, right? That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. And how, how many of us haven't woke up like that? What? Well, I want to go up there. There's been like three DLCs since I played this game last, so a lot of stuff is just going to be... Crazy different. Boss time. day I still have no idea what the hell that's about. Anyway, as I was saying everybody, welcome to Blasphemous. This is Catholic Guilt Souls. I don't feel that that is an exaggeration. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias. Witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me 
knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. The three humiliations. That is the most Catholic sounding thing. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one end of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed, Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. I know how to fucking parry. She says, unable to parry. Fatality. Yeah, sometimes you can get a cool execution move after successfully parrying an enemy. We found Clavicle of Die House and the School Child. Oh boy! Dead children's body parts. Dead children's body parts. Nothing we can do with that for now. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back. We are now in the town of Albero. All right. Now we get to meet some more fun, happy NPCs. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it, but Tirso, is my name. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. That's very St. Francis. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. We want to go this way first. This takes us to the upgrade statue. Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. Lend it to us and wipe away our tears. Because it is an act of penitence.
God, this game is cool. The virtue of Mia Culpa hath ascended. Visit Mia Culpa shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tears of atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mea Culpa's strength to access more powerful tech.